Tell me how cold it is outside. Uh, it's bikini weather. <laughs> bikini weather. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It's a, it's a balmy. Uh, my truck said negative 26, and I think Alex's car said negative 20. Yeah. And it didn't get much warmer than about negative 15 on my drive out, so. Yeah, it's brutal. <laughs> it's a little chilly this morning. <laughs> but no wind, bluebird skies. I don't really think we could have asked for a better day at least. So. Yeah, it yeah. is beautiful out. Yeah, it we get to look at that yeah. the whole way up. I, mean, I can't <laughs> wait to see what all that looks like once we get up on the ridge. Yeah, That's definitely. Gonna look so cool. We are in, we're in the National Park, right? Yep, in the National Park. In Grand Teton National Park. Very cold this morning. I'm just glad to be moving. Yeah, start <laughs> generating our own heat. I know, it was like, it was brutal getting everything set up. And it's a big enough pace, but I'm sure we'll still be able to find our own tracks. Yeah, definitely. First switchback, about an hour into the climb. Yep. I just put the risers down, <laughs> so we better be going uphill the rest of the way. Huh? Something tells me we will be. Hell, <laughs> we are heading uphill now. Doing great. Got up the hill a little bit. Starting to get pretty steep. Alex has gone ahead of me. He's gonna set up his camera and get some shots of us coming up. And me, I'm taking it a little slow right now. Not because I'm tired or winded or anything, but I'm sweating like a, uh, I'd say the air temperatures maybe, it's gotta be in the single digits. But the exercise is certainly certainly getting me sweating i've been dripping sweat already so i'm really trying to not do that so i'm taking it a little slower than alex right now just to prevent as much sweating as possible but anyway we've started the ascent as you can see come a good ways up but we still got probably at least two thirds ahead of us so yeah we're gonna keep plugging away great day to be alive <laughs> that's so good. Yeah. It's like kind of progressively harder all the way down. Uh, so we just dug a pit here. Uh, we're at about 9,200 feet on a southeast facing slope. And no depth is pretty deep, 240 centimeters. Yeah, 240, 250. Yeah. We dug down like, oh, look at that. <laughs> I thought that was coming down at me. I did too. <laughs> um, like four feet? Yeah. yeah. I dug about four feet. Yeah. Um, and the snow is looking like amazingly solid. Basically couldn't be any better. Yeah. We didn't get any results. And once we get up to the top of the ridge, we'll 
maybe dig another pit, or at least yeah. kind of assess it again. We'll see. Let's see if we're at a, at a, any, a like different type of a slope. <laughs> Long story short is things look pretty killer out here right now. In a good way. And I got a breeze. <laughs> in a good way. Things look pretty killer in a good way. Yep. Pretty good. They look good. <laughs> so, yeah, we got a nice little break too, so. Really gnarly. Almost, well, we think we're almost to the top bridge. Probably still a little bit of climbing. What's that? I'm gonna say 400 feet. 400 feet? Yeah. I no, I think, yeah, that's smart. Yeah, so we'll I'll be the here. optimist. I'll say I'll say about 200 vertical, but maybe still like at least a quarter mile, half yeah. mile. Yeah. Like a little bit of distance and a little bit of vertical, but we are getting up there because look at that. Let me get out from behind a tree actually. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> We're almost to the top. But we got our first fantastic views of the Tetons. Yeah, it's big. It's just a massive big. It's very steep. <laughs> down there way at the bottom there's like a little choke point oh yeah three hundred and sixty degree views of absolute craziness. All the valley behind me, all the valley, and then and the craziest thing is where you can barely see the top of the Grand up there. Just barely poking over the close of, what would that be? That would have to be South Teton. At least that ridge. I don't know. Look at that. But with so many ski lines, we're seeing tracks down stuff is absolutely crazy. Absolutely crazy. Kind of making us go, well, let's keep practicing because maybe in the future, there's some crazy lines up there. Aren't there? Yeah. Whatever you said. <laughs> Are they? Yeah. Tell me what your stoke level is right now. Dude, stoke level is like not even measurable right now. <laughs> it's like, it's 10 out of 10 for sure. Off the charts. Off the charts. Stoke meter is broken. Stoke meter, yeah. That dial is just spinning around and around and around and around and around. <laughs> Uh, and way out, where is it? There it is. I think that is. Yeah, that's it. Parking lot. Way down there. That is a long ways away. Quite a long ways away. 
And I still got a few bites left of my sandwich. And then we're going to shred it. 3,000 feet. We got 3,000 feet of skiing. Four and a half miles of skiing, too. Yeah. Give or take. <laughs> yeah. So rock, paper, scissors to see who gets to go second. Yes, winner gets second run because second run's gonna end up being the longest. Yeah, so. first run has to film. First one has to down. film. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Two out of three? Um or just one. Let's do two out of three. Let's okay. Do two out of three. Go on, shoot. Shoot. Rock, rock paper, paper, scissors, scissors shoot. shoot. Oh rock, rock paper, paper, scissors, scissors shoot. shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That was a quick defeat. Uh, <laughs> uh, dope. All right, you ready? Yep, I'm ready. All right, five, four, three, two, one. There he comes. Good idea. What was that? Is it a good idea? I think so. You might hit your truck door. <laughs> oh, almost. So, what's the verdict, Alex? Uh, ready for a beer. <laughs> ready for a beer. Yeah. yeah, I'm definitely ready for a beer. Yep. <laughs> beer and hot tub. Beer and hot tub. That's for sure. Yep.